This is Lisa Lee with the Channel 3 News Update. These were the emotional words chanted as protesters squared off with police officers. Spurred by two recent deadly officer-involved shootings, protesters gathered outside the steps of Anaheim City Hall Tuesday afternoon. Police shot 25-year-old Manuel Diaz Saturday afternoon on Anna Drive as he fled from two patrol officers. Matthew Acevedo was shot Sunday night in an exchange of gunfire with police during a foot pursuit on Guanita Lane. Acevedo and two other suspects were running from a stolen SUV. Emotions ran high among demonstrators, especially those who came out on behalf of their loved ones. Activist Ron Thomas showed up to support the families and hear more about the Anaheim cases. His son Kelly died days after a July 5, 2011 beating involving six Fullerton police officers, two of whom have been charged with his death. I'm out here to get facts, to find out if I need to be supporting these folks, uh, was it legitimate or not. The Anaheim Police Department stood in front, guarding the entrance to the Anaheim City Council Chambers. The protests grew heated as protesters demanded access. It's now the fourth day of protesting in Anaheim, and the people here at City Hall have made it clear. They want change. The police unleashed rubber bullets right into the crowd of men, women, children. A police dog got loose. I believe it was an accident, but nevertheless, these are trained professionals. Why did that happen? Darkness brought on a series of running clashes with police in the downtown area as hundreds of protesters took over the intersection of Anaheim and Broadway. The initial motive for the protests seemed to fade as angry demonstrators threw bottles, bricks and cones at police. Around 9 p.m., officers ordered the crowd to disperse, stating that arrests would be made if they did not clear the area. Officers from neighboring cities, including Garden Grove, were called in. Police officers resorted to firing bean bags and pepper balls, gradually dispersing the crowd. The investigation into both deadly shootings is being conducted by the district attorney's office, which is standard procedure in most Orange County officer-involved shootings. This is Lisa Lee with the Channel 3 News Update.